Hey guys, so uh, I'm here, uh, another exciting edition of Mr. Overstreet, um, rocking and rolling here in my very own garage. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I've been here like for months, man, and, and, and my hair has grown back and I, I'm so excited to make some more art, right? Right? Okay, cool. Okay, so this is what I'm working on, guys. All right. So this is the painting that I've been working on for a while now. All right? And I want to show you that making mistakes happen. Okay? So I just made a mistake right in here. Okay? Where I had this color going through here. And I had this tree coming through here. But my mistake was I came in here through with paint and I connected them. When I did that, it blurred the whole thing together. It made it look like the tree comes all the way out here, doesn't it? See that? It makes it look like the tree's off balance. See that? So I made a mistake. Okay? And I've made many mistakes on this thing, but this is just the last one. So I want to record it and show you. So what I'll do is I'll go in and I will probably take black and paint in the entire tree black. Okay, so it's just, it's negative space. Okay, it's the space that is not there. And then I'll leave that to its side and then here I'll repaint here and try and figure out what to do with the back of this building here. See that? Okay. So I'll paint this back in, and then I'll go back in with black as my base coat and build upon that. Because you always want to start with your darkest color, okay? Not always, but I, I, I tend to, okay? Especially when I'm going in and shading and, 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 and all that, okay? you got to go in with a dark color, okay? And all this has been trial and error, figuring things out, making mistakes, fixing them. Not throwing away, not quitting, changing things. I can't tell you how many times I repainted this. I repainted this probably eight times. Just this section right here, I repainted eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. That's a lot. Isn't it? Just that section by itself. Come over here. I probably repainted this four times. These have been probably three times. These trees, this will be the third time. Through here, four. And the this stuff, two. No. Yeah, two, two, yep. It takes work. It takes a long time to paint stuff. It takes a long time to make your artwork. It's not a quick get it and be done. It's a sit down, think it out, figure out what problems you might run into, what's the best way of making something, how do I draw this out, how can I plan this, what material is this going to be on, what materials am I going to use. All those things you have to think it out in advance and know what you want. And things are going to change as you go. Sometimes it's going to go in one direction and it's going really well and then you need to change a little bit and go a different direction. That happens with a painting as well. And a painting is only done when you feel that if you touch this thing one more time, you're going to make a mistake. That you've solved every answer. Every, every answer, every problem you had, you have solved. Everything makes sense. Everything checks off the list. This is exactly what I want. When you get to that point, then you step away, hang it up, and stare at it for a month, two months, six months. Keep it up in your bedroom the rest of your life. Eventually, you're going to look at it and go, man, I should have done something right over there. I should have done something over here. 
take it back down and work on it. This is an example right here of a piece I started when I was maybe 17 or 18 years old. I'm not sure. See that? It's a drawing that I did when I was 17 or 18 years old. Now I've taken out a lot of stuff because I got pretty complex in the painting process. And some things I'm going to put back in. But this is, this is what I drew. Now the thing was, is that I was not skilled enough to know how to paint it. I didn't know how to do that. So it stay, stayed in the sketchbook for almost 25 years. And here I am, painting it out. Don't throw your stuff away. Keep it. Think about it. Go back to it. You came up with some great idea for a comic book character. Hold on to that idea. Think about it over time. You draw some really cool sketch in your book that, that you are super proud of. Save it. Work on it. Here and there. Don't get rid of it. Who would have thought that this hot dog person was going to be on the interwebs 25 years later? Not me. Just a hot dog with eyes. <laughs> I mean, just play around with stuff. Mess around. Try stuff. Make it weird.